Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh wait, sorry, what was that? Still November, you say? Well, it sure felt like Christmas for me today. Tomashi brought the heat with SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball reveals at today's Figure Museum launch. Yes, for all those who are unaware, Tomashi is holding an online event right now for three days, Friday to Sunday, Japan Standard Time, showcasing their various lines from the comfort and safety of your very own screen. Tomashi dropped some pretty big reveals, some of which we have seen, other reveals were hinted at from Tomashi's last event earlier this year, and a couple I think were just a little bit unexpected by both fans and I guess Tomashi themselves. I'll abbreviate on that a little more later. All right, we have a lot to cover, so I'll be putting each reveal in categories, starting with good old Dragon Ball line. Now we've seen this one before, but for a better look, Tamashi has on display both bad and good forms of lunch. I have to admit, I don't collect all the Dragon Ball figures, but all the female figures Tamashi has released so far have been a lot of fun. I finally got around to cracking open Bulma, and I really enjoyed the figure. Lunch is a must-have for Dragon Ball fans, but I think it'll be a fun figure nevertheless for people who don't really have a particular attachment to the character. Moving on to the Saiyan Saga, nothing we haven't seen before, but it does look like we might be getting a recolor of Saiyan Saga Nappa in his Saiyan armor. The paint scheme is more accurate to the anime, but it doesn't look like there are any other differences to the original release. Still, Nappa is one of my favorites in the line, an excellent representation and a really underrated figure in my opinion. And having all three Saiyans from the Saiyan Saga together like this has me thinking that this will be my display in several months. SH Figuarts Raditz is due for release in April of 2021. Namek Saga Bulma, BAM! Yes, I called it way back in 2019. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter now because it looks like Tamashi will probably get around to making all major characters from all the arcs eventually. But Bulma will be one of the seven figures in Tamashi's series of Namek arc releases, each with their own Namekian Dragon Ball. Captain Ginyu being the first, Raccoon being number two, Jis with Dragon Ball number three, Berta and Guido holds number four, Kid Gohan number five, first form Frieza number six, and Bulma to round them up with Lucky number seven. So I'm going to call this the Cell Arc series. I'm not sure if that's what Tamashi is going for, but most of the reveals do fit the description. First up, Super Saiyan Goku. New hair, new faces. These are, of course, prototypes. Uh, so there might be changes made, some fine tuning here and there. The hair, in my opinion, looks pretty good. It's a nice update from the original Super Saiyan head we first got way back and looks a lot different to the Super Saiyan Blue Head Sculpt 2. More sculpted detail and the yellow looks lighter and more muted. Next up we have a brand new Vegeta. Well maybe just the head as the body does look like it's the 2.0 body. The head looks fantastic and has that Dragon Ball Z feel to it. Hard lines, sharp angles, I'm loving it. So if you didn't get the upgrade kit from Demonical Fit, here's a chance to own the officials. Tien and Yamcha in their Cell Saga outfits. Again, the base bodies look to be the same as the previous releases with a few retools. Tien with his shoulder sash or shawl, if you want to call it. It's made up of three pieces, upper, lower torso, and it does have that butterfly joint, as you can see. Yamcha has his short hair look, which uh, looks a lot more detailed than I thought it would be. Uh, the King Kai logos instead of the previous Kame Senin logos on his chest. And Chiaotsu! For all you Chiaotsu fans who thought you got gypped with a non-articulated figure, well here he is guys, fully articulated. Doesn't look like he will be the most articulated figure, uh, but he probably does have all the basics you'll need to pull off some decent poses. And last but not least in the Cell Arc series, I don't think Tamashi is done with this one. The figure doesn't look articulated, but I don't think Tamashi would just release a cocoon version of Cell. I'm thinking this is just an accessory for the much-awaited Imperfect Cell, which Tamashi did tease earlier this year. But we will find out soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. Tamashi showed us some Dragon Ball Super love with the reveal of Hit, 
one of the more popular super characters. I think a lot of super fans will be happy with this one. I'm really interested in how they do the hands in the pocket. Uh, I don't know, it might be a separate piece you plug in, much like Vegeta's crossed arms. I think if they could pull this off, they could use the same feature for a future Trunks 2.0, maybe in the near future. All right, so I'm gonna call this one the bonus round. So Demotical Fit comes out with a Captain Ginyu figure. Tamashi comes out with their own Captain Ginyu. Demonical Fit releases a Vegito on the Goku 2.0 body. Tamashi releases Vegito Blue last month. Kaioken Goku, Ginyu Force, Blue Shirt Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and now this. Demonical Fit showed us 3D renders of an upcoming Super Saiyan 2 Goku figure on social media. I don't know guys, at this point it just looks like Tamashi is always going to one-up Demonical Fit. Anyway, the more versions, the merrier, and though this is still a prototype, I still think there are areas Tamashi can, you know, look into to improve on this figure. Give us the cut that he had in the middle of his gi that he had in the Margin Buu arc. Not just a straight up 2.0 body. Include both Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 heads. But still, I am very happy we are finally getting a Super Saiyan 2 Goku, my personal favorite form. So this one kind of came out of left field, but I'm all in if they decide to release this version of Goku. He's displayed with all the food, chopstick holding hands, knife holding hands. Uh, it's unclear if all the food will actually come with a set. I'm hoping it does, because you can't have a food eating face without any food. Come on Tamashi, make this one happen. Feast Goku, the strongest form of Goku yet. And finally, who could this be? I'm sure you all know by now, but Super Saiyan 4 Goku is in the works or has been in the works. Uh, they announced this earlier this year. And what better time to showcase Super Saiyan 4 Goku than at this event? I'm sure we will see a prototype of some sort this weekend, so keep your Instagram accounts ready. There is still two more days and we still haven't seen the hinted Super Saiyan 4 Goku yet, which I'm sure they will have on display at this show probably this weekend. I'll keep you guys updated but in the meantime make sure you check out my review on the Imagination Works Goku coming this weekend. Take good care of yourselves, stay safe and I'll be seeing you all real soon. Yoroshiku!